Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today something a little bit different. We are going to be revisiting my book review series um, and looking at some books from Moon Books over the next few months. Moon Books are well known for their esoteric and spiritual books, um, but there are so many to choose from. Where do you start? Um, so that's one of the things we're going to be talking about today. I just wanted to pop in, give you a little bit of face cam, say hi, and maybe give you a little hint as to what we're going to be looking at today. So come join me. Where to start with moon books? I would say it, you would do really well to start with their Pagan Portal series. Uh, these books are bite-sized, but crammed full of useful information about a variety of magical and mystical subjects. Scrying is a prime example and this is the book we're going to be looking at today. Lucy starts out in her book with a concise introduction to scrying using brilliant visual examples taken from The Lord of the Rings. At this point, I knew I was in great hands. Within the book, Lucia states that with scrying, you can ask questions, but you don't have to. You can just wait to see what's shown to you. And she stresses that it's not the same as using tarot cards where you look up the meaning in a book. Scrying requires us to use our psychic senses and intuition to the full. So what's scrying? Lucia explains the word scry as um, it was first recorded in the early 16th century as meaning seeing images in crystal or water, etc., which reveal the future or secrets of the past. Earlier uses of the word mean to catch a glimpse of. She takes us through different scrying techniques and different tools, but perhaps the two most famous ones are the crystal ball and magic mirror. Um, so I am going to go through some of my tools with you. Um, obviously, I have a traditional crystal ball here. Ooh. Uh, that you can see. I've also got various other balls made of semi-precious stone and of glass. Uh, this is essentially just a giant marble and that can work perfectly well. But it doesn't have to be crystal balls. There are other things that you can use as well and we will get into that. As Lucia points out, you can, in theory, scry in any surface, including a dog's bottom. More information on that is on page nine of the book if you're interested. <laughs> you can also scry on the inside of your own eyelids. So I invite you to try that first. Now, let's sit comfortably. Close your eyes and peer into the darkness within. This might take a while, but eventually you may see images, shapes or shadows. If you don't want to do this now, take these tips and try them when you are somewhere safe and comfortable by yourself. It might take a while, but once you do see those images, remember to note them down. And when you've seen enough and you're ready to stop, take a few deep breaths and open your eyes slowly. As I said, remember to write down anything that you saw or felt. The back of this book includes a list of some of the commonly seen symbols and what they could possibly mean. But of course, these meanings will vary due to your own life experience and understandings. And that's just the very beginning of the book. Chapter two, she looks at more formal preparations for scrying, using low lighting, setting up a ritualized space, picking the right time, cleansing yourself and cleansing your tools. These are all great habits to form for any magical working and Lucia gives lots of options for different situations. In chapter five, we look at other different tools used for scrying, including budget friendly options like pans or cups of water. This one is particularly good because it's black on the inside. Do remember that 
Magical doesn't have to mean expensive. Some of the best items can be found in charity shops or thrift stores. Safety is of course important when working with glass, crystal or flame. There are mundane reasons for keeping things covered when not in use, just like there are magical reasons. The sun's rays can penetrate through a crystal and become magnified. Um, even crystals can magnify a sun's ray and cause a fire hazard. Keep these covered with a cloth or keep them in a drawer when they're not in use. And of course, you don't have to have any tools at all. If you're more outdoorsy, you might like to try the common childhood practice of scrying in the clouds. Just because children enjoy it doesn't make it any less valid as a technique. The book includes a couple of useful guided meditations for you to try and I would recommend that you record yourself reading these and then play them back to yourself so that you can stay in the moment and not have to worry about reading and meditating. This whole book is filled with great nuggets of information and there is of course far too much for me to share here and I don't want to spoil it for you. The book is available at all good retailers and I will link the Amazon down below. Um, Lucia has written many other books and I plan to review more of her work on this channel soon. The current UK recommended price for this book is 9 99 and I think that's an absolute bargain. I would highly recommend you getting yourself a copy. So my scrying tools, I wanted to share a few of those with you. Um, most commonly used by me would be scrying in flame, allowing your eyes to relax, to center on the flame. Sometimes I'll close my eyes and see those shapes form on the inside of my eyelids with the flame outside. Um, that is the most common way that I would scry. Um, additionally, of course, we have scrying in water. As I showed, you can use a black mug to scry into um, or you can get yourself something that is designed specifically this is a very beautiful scrying bowl um, from Nemesis Now so with this it has a black shiny surface on the inside and you can just add some water and then scry into that additionally any black dish um, this is a witch casket um, bowl that was designed for money magic um, for you to put crystals and things in but would work just as well as a scrying bowl for scrying in water providing that mirrored surface so that you could look into the depths um, additionally I have got um, this lovely dish that was made for me by Sharon at Pencil Surprises. It's a resin um, pentacle dish and I think that would work quite nicely. It does have a little bit of sparkle which would catch the light but equally you could add some water and use that in a darkened room. Let's see if we can. It's not quite dark enough. I am recording in the afternoon. But I think with the with a sensibly placed candle, you would be able to get some quite good effects with this. So cauldrons have long been associated with witchcraft. Um, this is a little tiny miniature one that I absolutely adore. Again, it was from Witch Casket, but I do have a small copper one as well that I picked up at a charity shop. Um, these can be used to house a candle if you want to do some um, scrying with flame and are concerned about safety. This is not going to tip over. It's heavy. It's flame proof. Um, and if there are any problems, you can just pop the lid on. Everything will be fine. Just don't touch the outside. It does get a bit warm. Alternatively, of course, you can add water to this and scry into the water, much like with the cups and bowls. Mirror scrying can be done in a few different ways. Um, you can use a regular mirror um, in a darkened room, normally with a candle lit behind you. Um, 
alternatively you can get black mirrors um these the really expensive ones are made of obsidian um some are just painted black some are backed with something like black velvet um, or black silk however i did have a thought um i was reading up recently on making paint and the artist color lamp black is literally made from the soot of a lamp and i was thinking that if i could coat some glass with lamp black which is how you collect it to turn it into a pigment that might make a really good black mirror and of course talking of black mirrors you could also just scry into your tv whilst it was turned off um which is the you know the modern use of the phrase black mirror is that square of black glass in the corner of almost everybody's home um so you might also want to try with an iPad or a phone, just using that dark screen and see what results you get. I'd be really interested. I do hope that perhaps some of what we have very briefly touched on today has whet your appetite to investigate scrying more. Um, Lucia's book is so wonderfully written. She's got a very casual style that really invites the reader to take part. It's a very practical guide. There's lots of things for you to try out in there. Um, I only wish I could have found more ways that I could interpret those to the screen for you. But um, unless you are physically here with me having a go, that is a little bit difficult. But I would recommend anyone that's interested to go grab themselves a plate or a dish of water, um, you know, something with a black inside is brilliant and just have a go at sitting and staring into the inky blackness and seeing what you feel or see um, use all of those senses um, and see what you come up with and then maybe let me know down in the comments um, what you have experienced and maybe we can interpret it together so do please 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 um check out Lucia's work I will tag her YouTube so that you can go and check her out in person um, and make sure that you are following me here hit the bell icon to be notified because I as I say I am planning to do at least one book review every month now for the foreseeable future um, I have got several books that Moon Books have been kind enough to send me um, that I'm going to be going through and reviewing and um, if you go onto the community tab, um, you will see there, there's a poll up at the moment to see what book I should do next. Um, they're a mixture of theory books and also some novels. Um, uh, yeah, so I'm interested to see how people respond to this type of video. And if you've got any suggestions of how I could do things differently, do let me know. I am always open to criticism, comments, feedback. Um, yeah, I want to make these videos as useful for you as possible. So let me know what more I could be doing to help you. Um, I think that Lucia's book is brilliant. Do go out and grab yourself a copy. Um, and yeah, if, if you subscribe to her channel, let her know that I sent you. So I'm going to leave this here. Um, as I say, let me know if you've got anything any questions for me and I will try and answer them as quickly as possible. Please do consider hitting the like button if you enjoy my content, share it with a friend, subscribe if you haven't already, become a member of the Crafty Coven and until next time, stay crafty!